In this quick video guide, we are going to talk about Form Z Free, which is a free software that you can download and install by searching in Google and clicking here on this website, formz.com. And this is a 3D software for 3D modeling, rendering, and animation. And you can see here in the gallery some uh, examples of uh, architecture, product design, interior design, characters, and like video game design, something like that. So you can basically download this in many different versions. You have a Form Z Pro, which is um, not for free. You also have V-Ray for Form Z. And we talked about V-Ray for Unreal and Maya. And you can find V-Ray for many different software 3D software. Also, we have this Form Z Junior and, well, we have other stuff here that you can check by yourself. But what we want to see in this video is this one, Form Z Free. So to download this, well, you can also see what's new in the, new, in the latest version, which is uh, version 9. You can see we have like uh, 3D printing features, components, materials, dynamic interfaces, reshaping and so on. So to download this, let's click here on the free download button and we are going to scroll down this page. And if you have any issue, you can always contact here the support email. Now let's just type anything in this. You just need to fill this form here just partially. So I just wrote the name, surname, which are pretty generic and also you have to, this is pretty important, you need to uh, input an email where you will receive the email where you will get into the download page. So let's click also this one checkbox here and let's say submit, submit form and there you go. Now we just have to check our email for that uh, download mail. Okay, you can see now the email here, but doesn't display very well. But if you scroll down a little bit, you will find a link right here where you can download the software or you can get to the final download page. And also you can click right here if you don't see anything at all. So I will open up this into two separate windows so you can see what, what will happen by clicking here or by clicking here. So in the first link, we see this page, which is telling me that this is Form Z8. And with the second link is that I get this Form Z version 9. So I'm not pretty sure uh, about what's happening here. But uh, well, you can just download both and then you can select one of those. In this case, I want to go for the version 9, which I believe will be a little bit more um, updated. Uh, I have the Macintosh download here. If I scroll down a little bit, here is the Windows. So I will click here, download, and it's going to take about two or three minutes. And once it's finished, I'm going to open it up. Otherwise, you will find the installation file inside your download folder. Okay, here you can see my download folder, and this is the X file. So you just double click here. And this is going to open up the wizard. So let's click next. Let's choose a folder where we want to install the uh, software. I will leave this default directory and then say install. OK, now uh, the installation is finished. So I will click here finished and launch the, the software in the same time. Otherwise, you will find your shortcut icon on your desktop. And that's it. It's going to take just a few seconds to start up. Now you will see this welcome screen here and you can open up uh, previous projects or you can import. So you can import from many 3D software. You can import, for example, 3DS from 3D Studio Max and also DWF, DWG and DXF from AutoCAD. Also OBJ from like Cinema 4D or Maya or Blender and also SketchUp files. So you can work with, um, with this Form Z with many other formats. 
So if you if you don't want to start from zero. Okay, now this is the interface here. And to make sure that everything goes smooth, I have restarted Windows. So here I am, Let, let's create a new project. And this is in Italian right now because it detected my language. So I, if I want to change this, I will need to go here on the second drop down menus, which should be like editing or modifying something like that. Go all the way down and go to the preferences. Also, you can press Ctrl plus uh, comma. And these are the preferences. If I go to language, I can change this from Italian to English. Okay. Or you can also use some other uh, language. And I have to restart again. So again, I will close this, click and restart. Or I can also do a new project from here. Now let's wait. And there you go. This is the standard interface. Now, basically what we have here, we have this uh, 3D view and we have the this representing my X, Epsilon and Z axis. So it's oriented like uh, 3ds Max or basically Autodesk and also SketchUp products. And you can scroll your scroll wheel of the mouse to go back and forward, like doing a zoom. You can also press the scroll wheel to do a pan and you can hold the control and the, and the scroll wheel to do the orbit. Now these are the navigation that you can use in this 3D view. Now in the left part here, it doesn't show really nice, but you have this toolbar and you have like 2D shapes. Let's take for example, spline here. I'm just clicking with my left mouse button and press S to exit. Now this is also editable, so you can go here, change the this shape. And so it works uh, really like AutoCAD again, or also Rhinoceros 3D, which is another 3D software. Now, if I create, for example, rectangle here, which is a closed shape like that, then it's gonna bring me directly to the extrusion. So I can create a pretty quick 3D, pretty quick and easy 3D. And also my grid here changes uh, according to the phase where I'm at. So I can work, for example, on this phase, create another shape here or another uh, 3D form. Well, I will not show you everything here. Just try to experiment a little bit by yourself. You will find also tutorials on the official website. So you can work here with polygonal modeling or with um, uh, kind of NURBS modeling. So you can work with curves. You can work with uh, 3D objects. This is, for example, a tool that will let you like extrude from your original um, piece. And also you have some more complex um, 3D objects here. And so you have this um, toolbar on the left. On the top, you will find this. This is really useful because it's going to guide you through the different commands that you're going to do, your actions. And also you will find here um, to, to find your coordinates. You can change also these coordinates here. And here you have like a quick menu. So you will find like navigation tools, also different display for your um, 3D view here. And you can change and watch your 3D scene from many different views. And well, let's go in the part here on the right. For example, you have materials here, but also you have like other panels for lights and for layers, similarly to what you will find again in Rhinoceros or in uh, SketchUp. And for example, if I want to use this, uh, material, I can just drag and drop that onto the object. And on the bottom, also, we have other tools that will help us to work more precisely. For example, we have also the snaps. And well, that's it. Now, this is not an entire uh, course on uh, this software. Again, you will find more tutorials 
on the web. They also have a YouTube channel. If you search for YouTube um, form Z, you will find a channel with a lot of tutorials. So you can check the channel here. Well, also check our channel because we publish a lot of video courses and video guides. If you like 3D modeling, for example, if you go in the playlist page down here, you will find the English video courses. And we published video courses on V-Ray, Mudbox, Fluidray, and Fusion 360, 3D Studio Max, Cinema 4D, and many others. So please check it out and also subscribe and leave your comments, which can be questions or uh, suggestions for this video or similar videos, similar softwares. So also search if you're looking for something in particular, for example, let's for, search for SketchUp. And if you click here, you will find some videos. Now, most of them are in Italian, but we also publish um, videos in English sometimes. So you will find all those. If you click here, for example, SketchUp uh, download install you should find there you go some english video guide as well and also in the playlist down at the bottom you will find english video guides for software web smartphone open source and many more topics so thanks for watching and see you in the next video